You have never had lobster mac and cheese like this. Ah! So for this, we're gonna start out with making the cheese cone first. Um, it's super interesting. I'm just gonna take this butcher paper, roll it around like this, so it's this nice wide cone around my hand. And then to get it from unrolling, I'm just gonna fold it in and stuff it kind of inside itself. There you go, kind of like that. And then obviously that's just gonna flip, but it won't unroll. And then you can lay the cheese out in an arc on the flat top like this. And then you kind of set this on the cheese and you'll roll it around like that. The cheese cones are done. We're gonna get into this mac and cheese. Super awesome, habanero, white truffle. Um, the recipe's in the description below. Check it out. We're just gonna do a quick montage. Let's go. Okay, we cooked up some cavatappi pasta earlier. I really like it because it's kind of like an elbow noodle, like that if you split it in half, but it's longer, it holds the sauce better. Really awesome. Great texture if you cook it kind of al dente. Um, it really works well when you bake the pasta after. It doesn't mush out. It kind of still has a good bite to it. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. And we got our cheese sauce, our Mornay, all done. Looking really good. Now you still want it a little bit runny. It has the roux, but the starches on the pasta thicken it up as it bakes. Check this out. We're gonna use about half of it like that. It's super situational, you know, just mix it up. And you still want it to be saucy. Fake white truffle oil. And I say fake because it's not actually truffles, it's like an infused oil. Um, super skunky, garlicky, mushroomy. It has its place as like a finisher or an additive, third, fourth, fifth ingredient in something. You don't wanna be like sauteing your steak in truffle oil. Um, I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of it, just kind of right in here to finish up this mac. It's gonna give it like a really nice, elevated, elegant flavor. Just make sure you taste it. You know, already smell the difference, straight off 100%. Kind of like roast, shallots, garlic, mushrooms all in one, it's really awesome. Um, I'll just taste it. Mm. It's good. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. So we're gonna mix it up really well. Don't need that right now. Come back with our cast iron. You know, use a spatula. Get all your sauce out. We'll get all the extra sauce when you use a spatula. You don't wanna waste that. Okay, now I wanna make sure my sauce is on point. And so if I just kinda of flatten it, you can see how the pasta is very elevated and this side's really saucy, that side isn't. I'm just gonna come back a little bit and add a little bit more. There we go. We don't have to mix it in, just leave it there. As it bakes, it'll even out. Grab our cheddar cheese that we had laying around. Gonna grate that down. It's really fast. I said this before in different videos, guys. The reason why I like to grate my own cheese Instead of using like a bag, obviously you can use a bag if you um you don't have time. Is uh this doesn't have any type of uh starches or additives to it to keep it from clumping. It's just real cheese. And that's what I want. So we're just gonna spread this out, make sure it's coast to coast, all the way around, end to end, cover everything. There's no sense in having like a pile of cheese in the middle that only one person is gonna scoop from. Panko breadcrumbs. Japanese breadcrumbs, not gonna do anything to them. And we're gonna do coast to coast again. It's about half a cup all together. It's right on top of the cheese. And now when it's melting, it's gonna crisp up on top, brown up. We're gonna throw it in the smoker, kiss it with smoke. Gonna throw the lobster on that, do that later. Here's the shortening. Let's throw that on, get it going. All right, so we're just gonna remove the meat from inside the lobster tail. I'm just gonna cut it down the back, um, the dorsal section, all the way to the tail and I'm gonna run my thumb underneath, loosening it, and I'm just gonna pull it out um, ever so slightly, trying not to ruin the meat too much or cut my fingers on the tail. Um, if you were to just take it like this, that's what you call butterflying it. If you lay it 
just like that, that's butterflying it. If you were to grill it, you could totally brush it with some garlic butter, a little bit of parsley, lemon, and uh, just grill it like that. The shell isn't a conductor. You're gonna elevate it off the grill, and then it allows it to cook more evenly without it getting overcooked or rubbery, and that nobody wants that. For this case, we're just going to um, trim the meat out and then break it down into little chunks like that because we're gonna make popcorn lobster. Oil's hot, max out. We have our lobster cleaned up and ready. Here's the spice mix. You can check out the spice mix um, in the recipes below as part of the popcorn lobster recipe. I have everything in here. I'm just gonna give it a good little mix up, make sure it's nice and even. I don't want clumps of anything. When you have everything on top, it looks like, oh, that's a lot of spices. When you mix it up, it doesn't really look that bad. Um, and what we're doing is we want as much flavor as possible right here in this, uh, this flour, because we're not gonna batter the lobster in any way. We're not gonna do buttermilk, we're not gonna do egg, we're not gonna do breadcrumbs, nothing like that. Um, and the reason being is the lobster is so small and delicate that you don't want like an ounce of lobster and an ounce of batter. It's overpowering. So we just want to give it a quick drop in there, just like this. These little chunks of lobster, like that. Toss it up, make sure they're battered really well. The lobster is moist, so the flour is already going to stick to it. This is gonna fry up super fast, minute and a half, two minutes tops to get these crispy, crunchy little bites. And they're gonna have the perfect amount of batter on them from this flour coating, instead of having to actually like batter them up or, or double batter them with egg or anything. Here, let's drop them in. Just making sure to tap off the excess. I don't wanna ruin my oil by adding a bunch of flour into it. I'm just gonna tap it off really well. Nice little bits, lay it away from me. So we have white truffle, habanero mac and cheese, fried popcorn lobster, it's all done, and our cheddar cheese cones that we have removed from hmm, the butcher paper. And these are nice, like, here. Nice cones. All crispy to crunchy good. Ooh. Mac and cheese goodness. Oh yeah. Right in there. Give it a good smush. Look at that. Ooh. The popcorn lobster bits. There we go. There we go. We're gonna take some green onion greens right here. Green onion greens on top and some truff hot sauce because why not do truffle with truffle? I'm gonna just drizzle that all over the top. So that is looking amazing. Um, How do you eat that? I don't know. Uh, you just kind of take a bite out of it, right? Got a mad dog power stance and. Uh, mm. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Middle America, eat your heart out. Ain't no fair got this. Hmm. Wait. What are you doing? I'm drizzling more cheese on it. This is exceptional. Not enough cheese? No. Uh oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Final thoughts. Food truck, 100%. I like that earthy feeling of the truffle on it and truffle hot sauce on top. The cheese cone works exceptionally well. Very fun to eat on the fly. The lobster is crispy, crunchy, good. It's very sweet. It's everything I want in popcorn lobster and lobster mac and cheese. And it's spicy and the cavatappi is perfect. Like, it still has a bite to it, the bake, everything. Guys. The mac and cheese recipe on our website. Popcorn lobster on our website. I even made really awesome hot honey that kind of goes really well with it. Check that out. And if you really do want to go hard, if you really do want to, do it. See you guys next time. And then, whoa, it smells great. So I'm really excited to have like a cheese adult cone 
deal. It's like a waffle cone. It's like a waffle, it's like an ice cream cone, like a waffle, but it's just straight cheddar cheese. We'll make some more and, and keep rolling with it. <laughs> <laughs> 